Post game with head coach Jim Penders, Huskies a 7-4 winner over Northeastern. Coach, I think for the most part your team played a pretty complete ball game in terms of base running, defense, uh, a little bit more with the timely hitting to extend that lead yeah. out though late. That would be the only complaint, um, you know, we, and we got picked off on a hit and run, but the pros outweighed the cons. They gave us a lot for free and we didn't quite take advantage as best as we can. Um, you know, but I, we did enough and uh, offensively. And Jeffrey Kirsten didn't have his best stuff, but he really competed, showed a lot of grit. You know, I know he's kicking himself for the walks and that wound up biting him there with two runs and makes it closer than it should be, but uh, he competed. You know, he found a way and, and that's all we can ask. You know, he's going out there on Fridays and doing yeoman's work and uh, proud of him. You talk a little bit about CJ Dayton. Uh, it just yeah. seems like he's just been a constant for that back end of the bullpen. He's been locked in, and um, you know he's just confident. He comes to the mound, and he's he's it's a fifth-year senior, so it's like you know talking to a man, not a boy. He's he's one of the few guys who gets to the mound, and I can talk to him about his stuff in the pen without him looking wide-eyed, and I'm, I can ask him questions and get honest answers. And he comes in, I say, hey, are you locating okay to arm side? Looks like this guy doesn't like it in. I'd like to see if you can get to one and. And uh, Coach Max going to probably call a couple fastballs in here. He did. He called three of them. And, and the hitter who has got off to a great start, Di Loretto, um, looked like a you know looked pedestrian after have, looking really balanced earlier in the game. So made a couple big pitches there. Not afraid. Hey, I might hit him here. He, that doesn't even enter into his thinking. He's just executing the pitch. So it's really nice to have a fifth-year senior like that with courage. And and he works so hard. So he's earned everything that he's gotten every year that he's been here and every game that he's thrown. And uh, I think he has three saves all on this mound. So it's crazy how that has worked out, but he was very good. Can you talk a little bit about the offensive approach? Steele coming in, pitched really well against you guys in two previous starts. He did, you know, he, uh, he beat us two years ago, local boy, and um, last year he pitched great against us. And, this year, you know, we look at his numbers from last year, and just a lot of, a lot of off speed, a lot of sliders, a lot of change, a lot of, a lot of stuff that hitters don't really like to hit, you know. And he, he kept it down in the zone. He kept it down in the zone. I thought okay today too. Um, the guys did a good job hitting the opposite field and going up the middle early. And uh, we took advantage of a couple mistakes he made and a couple walks. So uh, guys, you know, he, he's a he's he's been our nemesis, and, and uh, but. Uh, Thankfully, we got off to a good start today, and we're able to get him off and out. And Rodriguez came in, did a pretty good job, similar, similar with sliders. And I'd like to see us just kind of finish that game off. We didn't quite finish it off. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Chris.